got very good evidence that when things get more expensive, people consume less of them. That's true for alcohol, uh, even, even when alcoholics are consuming it. It's true for gambling, and we think it's true for sugar as well. So on a broad basis, if you raise the price of sugar, then people will consume less sugar. What impact that has on public health is more complicated. So we've got two issues here. One is, at the moment, sugar taxes are not, it's a misname, they're not on sugar, they're on soft drinks in particular. So you would expect people to reduce their consumption of soft drinks, but then are they going to consume more cakes, more biscuits, are they going to shift? We're not sure. The other question is, will the reduction in consumption be enough to affect public health, to affect obesity? And there I'd say it's too early to say. It doesn't seem unreasonable to speculate that it might, but we don't know. Generally, when we're trying to design a tax, we want it to be fairly broad-based. What we don't want is people to substitute from one product to something very, very similar. Because then you haven't influenced the behavior in the way that you wanted, you don't even collect much tax revenue. So I'm concerned, I, I broadly I support the principle of a sugar tax, I think there's a lot of good reasons to think that's a good idea, but the idea that it's so narrowly focused specifically on soft drinks makes me concerned and I think people may substitute to something which has just as much sugar. I would like to see uh, a fairly gentle and broad-based tax on sugar, because we tax almost everything. We tax work, we tax spending, uh, we tax gains on the stock market, we tax all sorts of things. So it doesn't seem crazy to tax sugar, but I don't think we should be demonizing one particular narrow product. Raise the tax a bit, very broadly on sugar, see what happens, collect some data, and then we can make a sensible decision about how to move forward.